This is a short video to show you how to capture a combination mission in the Compass Drone Cirrus app. Step one is you want the drone turned on and also the remote controller turned on. And then you'll hook up your USB cable. And Android's going to ask which app you want to use. Go ahead and select Compass Drone. You might have to select it twice. And then go ahead and start the Compass Drone app. We'll select flight mission. And then in the upper right, we'll tap on the bullseye to zoom in. This is a Google Maps background. And then the bottom right, you can get a imagery background. And we are gonna fly a mission around this silo here. Uh, but this could easily be a car or a building same techniques so we'll click choose in the upper left and we'll say combination so the green dot is the center of your mission and you want to tap and hold on it and drag it over to your target the red dot is the radius of each circle and this just varies by how big your target is and how if those circles are going to run into a building and then on the left is where you adjust your altitude we're going to fly this one at 20 meters because that's safe to clear everything uh, and just so you know the drone's position is that little pink drone in in the bottom of the screen here if you don't have that you're probably not connected to the drone you might unhook and rehook your USB cable, or you may use a different USB cable. But we're connected and ready to go. So in the bottom left, oh by the way, the blue dot is the location of your Android tablet or cell phone. So we're ready to go. So in the bottom left, we'll say go. It's gonna do a safety check. Uh, just make sure you have an SD card and enough battery and that there's no errors on the drone. If those are all green, we'll go ahead and say go. The drone will take off and it may hover at about three or four feet above the ground. If it does that, go ahead and push up on your left joystick just a foot or two. That's actually a safety check that we've built in. But the drone will fly directly from the home point straight up to that 20 meter altitude that I set. And now it's gonna head into the circle to kind of get its bearing. It's gonna then fly to the first circle. And the sequence is it's gonna fly the circle, then it will fly higher and fly a grid then it will fly higher and fly the second circle. Then it will fly higher and fly the final circle. The gray marks are an indication that it is capturing photos. And if you would like to, uh, in the bottom right, you can tap on the button that looks like an eyeball. And you can see the images being captured in real time. This is also a good indication that you're contrast and your white balance are set correctly but there we go it's captured the first circle we're gonna hit the Android back button to go back to the map screen uh, you can also from the live screen in the bottom right you can tap on the map icon to go back to the map screen but now it has flown to the grid the camera is facing straight down it's gonna fly a grid This may seem a little slow compared to other apps, but the slower speed helps you eliminate blur in the photo because blurry photos are not good for 3D models. Um, this app also works well in low light conditions. Um, 
especially in low light you're subject to photo blur but flying slower helps that out You notice the altitude in the upper right. I set a flight height at 20 meters. That was only for the first circle. Uh, it is flying the grid at 40 meters and it's also going to fly that second circle at 40 meters above the ground. The third circle is going to be flown higher. So we finish the grid. We're flying to the circle. I'm going to go back to the live video eyeball and you'll see that it's adjusted the camera from straight down to an angle. If it's not quite right, you can use the wheel on the upper left of your DJI controller to rotate that camera down. But actually, even though your subject may not be in the center of the frame, uh, we found it produces a pretty good 3D model anyways. So. If you're not sure, just go with the default camera angles. So now the drone is flying higher. I'm going to go back to the map. And it's going to fly to that third circle. And you'll notice the altitude is now 60 meters above the takeoff location. And the bigger the circle, uh, the radius that you draw, the faster the drone is going to go. So just be aware, big circles uh, may seem like the drone is flying very fast. But once it's reached the end of this circle, it will fly to the home point and land. And all those circles and grids are just with one push of the button. So that's a compass drone combination mission. A circle, a grid, and two more circles at higher elevations will produce a very good 3D model for you.